the Queen's compulsive habits, which disturb her loved ones. Elizabeth's late governess Marion Crawford claimed that as a child, the girl always arranged all her pencils in perfectly even lines, making sure that the space between them was equal. She did the same with the plates, arranging them in strict order. In her book governess Wendy Holden writes, then Marion, whose training included child psychology, realized that before her obsessive-compulsive disorder, this cozy and extremely orderly environment was the very last place she expected to encounter it. The book quotes the dialogue that followed. Why are you doing this? The governess asked little Lilibeth. The princess looked up, gazing at her with her dispassionate blue eyes. Because it makes me feel safe. Safe, Marion repeated. Safe from what? There was never an answer, for the princess's mother, Queen Elizabeth, entered the room at that moment. Whether there was an actual obsessive-compulsive disorder is unknown, but a new book, The Governess, provides evidence that as a child the monarch was unparalleled neatness. Crawford herself wrote the same about her ward, having published her own memoirs under the title Little Princesses in 1950. According to The Sun, which retold the governess's book, the young princess was quite capable of jumping up in the middle of the night to check the state of her clothes and shoes. Marion labored for the royal family for 12 years, raising Lilibeth and Margot. Typically, the desire to control a situation provides confidence in possible scenarios. Elizabeth's childhood was indeed full of unpredictable twists and turns. She was born the Duke of York, who suddenly became King George when his older brother Edward abdicated. At the same moment it became clear that one day his eldest daughter would have to take the British throne. Overnight, Elizabeth went from a quiet family circle to a court environment completely different from what she and her sister were used to. Perhaps the girl's desire to control her surroundings provided her with a sense of stability that the princess may have lacked in a rapidly changing world. By the way, Princess Margaret did not share her older sister's obsession and often tease her about it.